morning, everyone. My name is Katie and I'm a fifth year teacher here in the state of Florida teaching third grade this year. And I'm so glad you're here for this week's video. Today is Tuesday. I got a couple shots yesterday morning, as you saw, and then I didn't vlog. That's okay, it was a great day. We um, did a math lesson, we had a writing lesson, we practiced our spelling words outside, we did all kinds of things. The weather was beautiful, my kids were great. It was just an all around great day. And so I'm sorry I didn't film and take you along on that day, um, but I'm picking up today and I'm gonna do better. Um, so things that we're doing today, we are doing our final lesson of chapter one in math. We're working on, I think, word problems with subtraction. Could be bar models for subtraction, if I'm not mistaken, which isn't my favorite strategy to teach, but it really helps some students figure out like what the missing part is that they're looking for. So I think that's where we're gonna be. And then looking forward in math, we'll do our chapter review tomorrow, test on Thursday, and then we'll do our test corrections on Friday. So we've got, um, we're kind of wrapping up a chapter in math. And in reading today, we also have our tests. Um, for the end of unit one week four. So yesterday we did a writing lesson. We kind of swapped our writing and our testing because we didn't want to test on a Monday. So we did writing yesterday and today we're doing our tests. I have a new handy slide that I'm using. I'll show that to you in just a minute um, that I'm gonna put up on the board so they know like what to turn in and then what to do when they're done because I have just been writing it on the board, but it's more fun if you make it a cute slide. So we're gonna do that. Um, so it should be a pretty chill Tuesday. I'm wearing my big teacher energy shirt with some high-waisted jeans and a cardigan and a claw clip that matches because I was just so tired. And I, well, I don't know if I'm tired, but like I was sleeping so good. You know, like when you're in bed, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm sleeping fantastically right now. I don't want to get up. That was me. Um, so I like got good rest. I went to bed at a good time and slept straight through the night, but I was so comfortable. I did not want to get up. So that's where we were at. So what I'm gonna do is finish getting stuff ready on the board. I'll show you that slide real quick. Um, and then I'm gonna start working on some conference data because I just sent out an email yesterday for parent conferences. And so I have like a data sheet that I'm gonna start filling out. So I'm gonna look at like the first three time slots that have already been filled and start filling out those. And then I have morning duty. So that's kind of what my Tuesday morning is going to look like today. All right, here's my test day slide. I put it on my same template, which I will link. I've linked it in tons of videos, but here's the test that they have to complete online, progress checkup and cold read, which we've done before. Then I just have a little, when I am a finished check, am I finished with my rotation checklist? So I put a picture of the checklist right here, and then they come to the side. If yes, turn all three papers into the turn-in tray, and then click turn in online on all the assignments, and then you get extra AR time. If no, finish your work, then turn it into the tray. So I think this will be a good visual so I don't have students asking me what they need to do when they're finished working on that independence. Here's a closer look at the outfit. So some boot cut jeans, I actually wore these last Friday. I can't, I can't figure out what to do with this shirt. I had it tied and it's come untied. So now I just have it front tucked, which doesn't look good when I'm not wearing the cardigan because the shirt's just hanging out in the back. But with the cardigan on, it's not bad and it's cold. So I'll probably just leave the cardigan on because it's cold inside too. Um, but that is my outfit and my Converse. I really need to get some new white sneakers because I wear my Converse a lot. Right, I am just now sitting down. I finished my meetings and I am still working on things so we can chit chat while I'm working. Um, meeting today went great. It was to go over, um, it was like a freshman meeting. So it's called um, for teachers who are new to the school. Let me get some water. Can you tell it's hot? I think the AC is turned off in these rooms. Um, it's for teachers who are new to the school to make sure we know everything that's going on coming down the pipe. So that went really well. I felt prepared. I kind of knew in general a lot about the things that they were talking about because my team's awesome and my team lead has been updating us on all those things. Um, but it was still good to touch base, have a chance to ask questions, do any of that stuff. Today was a day. I feel like I say that a lot. Um, we had internet issues or um, not internet issues, platform issues with our test, which was frustrating. Well, our Audio didn't work this morning when I was doing the news. It was just like muted and nothing on the computer was muted. Like none of the mute buttons were clicked and I checked my keyboard, the desktop, made sure the audio, like I did all the troubleshooting and nothing was working. So we couldn't listen to the news. So that kind of like started us on a rocky start, but we did okay, we recovered. 
Um, and so then when they were at special area, I restarted it and it worked. Um, then we come back and we're supposed to take our test. We finished taking the spelling test, which they did great on, which was wonderful to see. Um, and then we get to the reading test and we're supposed to take this on the Savis Realize platform, which is what we use for my view. And it's like, I clicked on the test and it's just loading. And I like to preview it, click through the platform, show them this is what you click, this is where you go. Even though this is the fourth time we've done it, I still wanted to click through it with them. I couldn't do it. So I was like, okay, well, hopefully your computers won't be having issues. Maybe it's just mine. Cause I thought, you know, the board was having trouble earlier. That's gotta be what it is. Um, no, that was not the case. Theirs were just spinning. So I went to a part, a neighbor teacher and I was like, hey, are you having issues logging in? And they were like, I don't know, we're about to start it. Cause my kids had been sitting there at this point for about five minutes, just waiting. And I was like, okay. So I told them, I was like, get on Lexia. I'll try to figure it out. I'll get back with you. Went over there, her class was working fine. So I came back in here, had a kid try it and it was working fine. I'm like, seriously, why wasn't it working when I was trying to go over it and when we started? So I was like, okay, we'll finish 10 minutes on Lexia since they'd all just gotten started on that. And then we'll switch to the test. So that's what we did. Um, so it took the whole reading block and all of our social studies block just to finish the tests. Um, so yeah, that was a fun time. So when we came back inside, after recess, we did not do our tech time today. We did a directed drawing of a cute Halloween kitty with a pumpkin because I was like, we have just been on our computers for so long. So we're done with that. Um, so yeah, so that was interesting. I don't know how those tests went. I'm about to go grade them. I've got so many things to grade. I had like so many students with different transportation today. And then I had that meeting after school. So my brain's kind of like, Pugh. so I think what I'm gonna do is sit down finish entering grades that I haven't entered. Um, and then probably turn on some music to listen to, to relax while I do that. I would anticipate I'm gonna be here for like another hour, which is a long time, but I'm gonna try to get a lot of stuff done. We have friends coming over for dinner, probably at like six and it's four. David's still at work, so I have the time. So I have a checklist of things that I'm trying to do. Um, I'm trying to grade their checklists. I'm trying to grade spelling. I'm trying to grade the reading tests. I'm trying to make a plan for small groups that I'm trying to start tomorrow. <laughs> I am working on data sheets for conferences coming up. I need to check over their homework. Um, I already did my copies today during planning. Yay, win for me. Um, I need to send an AR email to say who's made it to like the next point level club so they know for the announcements. I might be too late for that already, but I need to like, I need to sit down and send it. Um, and then I'm also gonna pull out a new puzzle because my some of my puzzle, my friends have like been attacking the puzzles and stem bins and they're ready for a new one. And I have two new ones, uh, but I gotta label all the pieces. So I'm gonna see how much of that I can get done. Some of it I can wait till tomorrow. So if in about an hour, I'm not done with those things, it's not a big deal. We'll just let it go, let it go and do it tomorrow. But we have a grade level meeting tomorrow during planning. So I don't wanna to put too much of it off and anything that's time sensitive, like putting in these grades, I like to get the grades in as quick as I can. Um, so anything that's time sensitive, I'm gonna do first. That's what we're looking at. So I'm gonna turn on some music, get that done. I did get this done though. Um, I had a parent volunteer help me and I went ahead and made all of the um, essential questions for the rest of the reading, color-coded by unit, which is good because um, we're on our last week of unit one. Y'all, if you want to know how today went, this coffee from this morning. I didn't finish it. So sad. Also, did I talk about my cup in my last vlog? New Tervis mug. I'm pumped. It's got Obby on it. So cute. And like, this is what we look like at the end of the day here with this shirt tucked. I'm like, oh man. A hot mess, a hot mess. And my ears, you can tell, are like fiery red from being outside for recess and then like walking around to those meetings. And now the AC's not on. So I'm about to pull, I still have a mini 7-Up can. I have a couple of them that are left over from the very first week of school. And I've been putting them in the fridge. And I think I have one in there right now that's chilled for me. And if I do, I'm going to get that out. So I have something like cool to sip on. I also need to finish my water. This is not my first one, but I need to finish this one. And I'm going to get to work. Let's do this.
right, we are getting things together, ready to leave. All I gotta do is unplug the lights, recycle this can, drop it low. Okay, recycle this can on my way out, and I'm done. I got my grading done, which was fantastic. I got more than I expected done. Um, and yeah, now I'm heading home. y'all happy wednesday afternoon yes it is the afternoon and i'm just checking in as you saw i had quite a busy morning this morning i had a lot to get done i had copies to make um, i needed to look over my lessons for the day all kinds of things so let me give you the day in a nutshell we started off our morning normal stem bins kiddos were finishing their pictures that we did yesterday. I don't think, did I come on yesterday afternoon? I did. And I told you how we did the directed drawing instead of doing computer in the afternoon because the computers weren't working and we spent so long doing the assessments. If I didn't, now I told you again. Um, so they are working on their directed drawings this morning, the ones who didn't finish, and then doing stem bins. So that went well. We started the day. We did our chapter review for math, which is what they have in Go Math, like right before test day. It's at the end of their chapter and I do it as a quiz grade just to kind of help because usually they do pretty well on it and it kind of cushions that test grade too. Um, so we do that as a quiz grade and I had them all, we graded our homework, we did our warm up problems and then we went over and we read the directions together, made sure there was nothing that was gonna be like tricky or gotcha. Then we put up privacy walls and we took that chapter review and I felt like that went really well. My students got good grades and they worked quietly on it and I had them work on iReady when they were done. I had some teacher assigned lessons on there that matched what we were learning in math. So that's what they did when they were finished. I've graded them all, yay me, and those are entered. Um, then they went to special area. When we came back, we kind of redid an assignment from yesterday. We did an extra practice cold read that they did yesterday because the test went well, the cold read not so much. So we did an extra one of those as a class today so we could go back over those text features and I could kind of reteach it. And then I had them enter that on their own independently so they could see like I printed it out so they could do the printed version and then do it on the computer and see how it transferred. So we did that. Um, we introduced all of our new stuff for the unit. So reading was like fast and furious literally fast and furious. It was crazy. So we introduced all of our new stuff. We introduced our new vocabulary, our new word study, and our new genre, which we're learning about myths, and they're really excited about that. And I did small groups for the first time today. The evidence is right here because we're learning the oi and owl sounds, or we're reviewing those. Um, so I pulled three small groups. If I look at my small group schedule, is right here. I did day one. So I pulled group one, group two, and group three. Tomorrow I will get one, five, and four. What I did with those three groups was I just went over these sounds and we practiced writing words on the board. It was like quick and simple because we started late because we did the reteaching for the cold read. So what I'm going to do for my group one for the rest of the week is keep focusing on these sounds or for the rest of like this unit. And now that we've practiced them like that, we're going to practice them in a decodable text um, and we'll practice reading. So we work on our fluency with the target sound. And then my other groups, I have these handy things just reaching all around um, from our MyView curriculum that like just came in because some of our materials just came in the mail. Let's not talk about that. Um, anyways, it's got texts inside that go along with what we're learning for our essential questions. So like our essential question this week um, is how should or why should we appreciate our environment and we're working on visualizing so it has like a miniature text that's not quite as long as the text in the book I don't think um, so we're gonna practice reading this together and practice our visualizing skills so I'm gonna do that with my other groups so like day one for groups one two three and four day one is like a phonics review and then introduction to the text if we have time um, and then group one we're gonna continue to work on text but with decodables and then groups two, three, and four, we're going to work on this to work on our target skill. And group five, I haven't decided. We could probably do um, like a chapter book study maybe, but we'll probably start with this while I'm launching. That way it's just like my brain will be fine. And then I'll look and see like, do I have a chapter book study? Or I have some leveled readers that are like way over there. 
and I haven't cracked those open. So there's probably one that's like an appropriate level for them that goes, there is one that's an appropriate level for them that would go with like what we're teaching now. And those are a little longer and kind of chapter bookish and a little less like small text, if that makes sense. Um, so that's my plan. We did that. It went pretty well. Then we had lunch, recess, computer time. So it was good to have small groups again. Yay. Welcome back. Small group table. Um, it's going to take some perfecting and my students, I mean, we've been doing this independent work for like five weeks now and today it like blew some of them. I mean, some of them were just talking, walking around, do all, I was like, whoa, y'all, like this is, it. this is the same independent work time. I'm just not walking around the room. So we got to work on that. Um, cause it was like, whoa, sometimes it was quiet and peaceful. Sometimes it was like chaos while we, they were doing their independent work. And I was like, y'all can do this. You know how to do this. So. That's what we're going to work on. Um, I stayed late again today because I've been working on parent conference forms. I brought one over so I could show you. Um, let me turn you around and like show you what I'm doing. This was made by a teammate. So no, I don't have a copy, but like I'm doing the student's name, conference information, all their subject areas, anything they need to work on for behavior skills, work study skills. And if they've been turning in homework, I have their star skills or scores, I should say, that I'm putting here. I made this box math fluency for adding and subtracting right now. We have reading fluency with their goal and their progress and then AR progress. And then I'm just writing notes that I want to go over at the conference, like at the bottom. Pretty simple. I don't have a copy of it to share with you because I got it from a teammate, but you can pause it, take what you want. And everybody's is going to look a little different, you know, like we use different things, different measures than y'all do. So um, I've been working on those. I finished like over half the class, which is good because conferences will start next week. And so my goal is to have all of these done by the end of the week, in addition to lesson plans. And we have a theme day next week. So it's like a lot going on. So I stayed really, really late today, but I am about to head out, which is exciting. Let me put these things back. I kind of like updated my small group cart. So here's like where those books are living. The top has the whiteboards and the decodable texts. And then we haven't really used anything on the bottom yet. So it just looks like a little bit different than it used to with first grade. But it was like exciting to get to um, get back into the swing of it with small group instruction. So that was my Wednesday in a nutshell. Let me show you my outfit. It was cute. All right, y'all. Here's what I wore. This cute top is from TJ Maxx. I got it this summer. thought it was really fall, especially when I've worn it with white jeans before. So it looked summer, more summery. But when I put it with the black jeans looks more like fall and I brought a cardigan because it was cold this morning and I haven't had to wear it and then these sandals are from Marshalls and the jeans are from Old Navy but yeah I thought it was like really cute in fall and very October but yet Florida officially making my way out of the door two days left this week here we go Friday. I am so excited. It's the last day of the week. I did not vlog yesterday because I just was going to be busy and I knew it was going to be busy and I had a parent conference and so I was like, you know what? I'm not doing it. I will pick the camera back up on Friday. We had a good day yesterday. We took our math test in the morning and I've graded those and they did pretty all right on it. There are a couple tricky problems. So what we're going to do is do our test corrections today. So this is what my team lead teacher does. So I'm doing that as well. I'll give their test back today with a pen and the ones that I've highlighted, they can go and correct. And then I put that in as a classwork grade, like their updated grade. So if they got like, let's say an 80 on the test and then when they correct it, they get a 100. The 80 stays in the grade book, but they get a 100 for a classwork grade for their test corrections. So it's supposed to help like boost their grade up um, by doing corrections and also showing them like where they made mistakes and errors so they can correct those. So. They can learn from them. Um, there's two questions that I'm going to do up on the board because they were multi-step word problems that like lots of people missed, lots of people missed. So I'm not going to like solve them up on the board, but I'm going to like talk through what we need to do. And I kind of write it in like algebra terms like, oh, they wanted to know what we wanted on Saturday. So I'd write Saturday combined with Sunday plus Sunday. So I'll put like the kind of like the outline of how to solve the problem up on the board. 
That way when they're doing their test corrections, they can look up there and see that. Um, it is Friday, so we do like a weekly math review quiz as well. We do that like at the beginning of our Friday math blocks. And then when we finish our test corrections, I have some friends that I'm gonna have correct with me at the back table. Um, when we finish our test corrections though, I think we're just gonna get on 99 math. It's been really fun. My kids liked it. We did it like two weeks ago, I think. Um, and it's just practicing fact fluency and I think they'll need that. So I'm gonna tell them, like, cause some of them only have one question to correct. My back table friends will have more. So if they finish, I'll have them get on to iReady, work on the teacher assigned lessons that are on iReady. And then after we've given it like a good bit of time for our corrections, we'll all get on to 99 math. Um, so that's kind of what my plan looks like. For reading, yesterday we introduced our new story called The Golden Flower. It was really great. We used Halloween witch's fingers to point. We're not going to today because um, we have to use our pencils to underline and that's that's too much. The Halloween fingers, the pencils, all of it. So, um, and I think our strategy is visualizing. So I'm gonna have to look at that during my planning, make sure I've got that squared away. Um, hello, I did small groups yesterday again. So that was fun. Um, the independent work is still kind of rough during that time. I'm like, last week we were doing it completely silently and they were just working, working. And now this week, I'm, it's like I'm sitting at the table and suddenly it's like, Hoo! everybody wants to chat, get up, sharpen their pencil, change their background on their computer and not be doing their work. So we'll see in a few days because the ones who haven't been doing their work won't get their free choice center. And maybe that'll make them be like, oh yeah, I forgot, you know. Okay, two things that I wanted to show you. First off, I came up with a genius idea I was losing track of students who were missing assignments, as in like I had them turn it into their turn-in tray and they didn't, or they were absent, etc., etc. And so I made this handy dandy sign with my PowerPoint template that says missing work, right? It matches my stem bin sign on the other side of my room. And now anytime I'm putting in grades and somebody's missing something, I just slap a sticky note up here. I say what they're missing and I write the student number. Um, so. There you go, that's kind of what it looks like. Yesterday I had sticky notes, I had like four. And during the morning, like when kids were trickling in doing stem bins, and then during the afternoon during dismissal, I was able to ask them like, hey, go check your Fox file and grab this paper for me because it was supposed to be turned in and I don't have it. So then once I put it in the grade book, I cross it off. Acrylic sign from the Dollar Tree, this sits over by my desk, genius. Because my grades are all online, I don't keep them in a physical grade book. And so like when you're not looking at it, you can't remember who's missing what. So there was that. Second, I got an Amazon package and I opened it this morning before I left, but I wanted to show it to you. I'm pretty excited. It's something for our stem bins. I'll probably add them to our stem bins next week and then like introduce it to them on Monday or something. But um, it's a pack of stencils, which is really cool. We've got like all kinds of stencils. It looks like the yellow ones are kind of like shapes of some sort. These green ones have like dinosaurs on them. We've got flowers, flower pots, spring ones, um, fashion. So there's like all kinds of stencils in here and I'm excited because my kids really like the um, how to draw animals station. So I think they're gonna like drawing with stencils. I need to get another um, scrapbook case out to put paper and put that in. And I'll make that separate from the how to draw animals because then I can have two drawing groups at once. And I do want to read who it was from because it came with a sweet note. It says, enjoy your gift. Been enjoying your videos immensely. Enjoy from Maya E. So Maya, thank you so much for getting these stencils for my kiddos. Stem bins, like they're going to love them. They love to draw. So they're going to be hype about some stencils. All right. I do have some things on my to-do list that I need to get to done today. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. Should be a pretty chill Friday, that's the hope. That's the hope, so let's get started. All right, I just pulled into the driveway. I am home, it is Friday afternoon. It was a doozy of a day. It was actually a really good day. We did our test corrections this morning. They went really well. I got to pull all the kids who really needed extra help with those corrections to my back table. The rest worked independently and quietly the whole time. Hallelujah. Went great. I sent them to PE. I picked them up. We went to the library to get books. We took our AR test on Super Fudge, and a lot of them were able to, let me see if I can get that. There we go. There's the color. Um, a lot of them were able to meet their AR goal because we took the AR test on Super Fudge, which was great. Um, then we started talking about descriptive language. I whipped together a descriptive language activity like at the last 
last minute to intro it. I just put like three pictures up on the board and we did them one at a time. One was like a fall picture that showed like a fall scenery and I put it up on the board and on their whiteboards they had to write descriptive language, things to describe the picture. Then we shared and we brainstormed and I wrote it around the picture. So we did that with a fall picture, a haunted house picture, and then like a picture of a football stadium for a football a collegiate football team that's in our area um, and they were so excited about all those pictures and writing the descriptive language so then when we read our text the golden flower and we were supposed to underline the descriptive language I was like okay think about how we described the football field earlier what are they using on this page to describe the island what are they using on this page what words do you see that they use to describe the pumpkin and they underlined them that was their strategy so that went really smooth. Independent work went much better today. I sat them down. I was like, look, y'all, you got to work quietly at your seat because you got to get your work done. Um, and I'm pulling groups and you can't be noisy when I'm pulling groups. So I was like, I'm going to be watching. And if you're not using your time wisely, then some of your recess time will be spent walking because you're not using your time wisely. And they did so much better, so much better. Um, so I was really proud of them for that. And then we had lunch extra recess and it was a great a great afternoon we took our faculty pictures so we wore our, like faculty shirts today and um then I sat and I finished the last of those parent conference forms because parent conferences are starting on Monday finished all of those up sent out a bunch of announcements in our like weekly recap email um because we've got rock your school day we have AR parties we've got booster thon like all kinds of things starting there's a squirrel hopping outside he's so cute he's frolicking Anyways, there's lots of things starting in the next week. So, all of that being said, I don't know if I'm going to vlog next week at school because I literally have parent conferences coming out of my eyeballs. Like, the schedule is crazy. By the end of next week, I think I'm going to be finished with 14 out of the 21, and I've already had one. So, that'll put me, like, 15 out of 21 parent conferences done at the end of next week. So, needless to say, like, my mornings, my planning, my afternoons, all conference 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 so I don't think I'll vlog next week I'll try to film something else to post in the meantime so I don't miss like a scheduled video because I always post on Saturdays um but yeah thank you guys so much for following along for this week in my life in third grade please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it click subscribe if you want to keep watching more post a new video every week love you guys and I'll see you in the next one